Hello, so I would like to show you how we can measure or try to estimate simply uh, the gain of an antenna. So this measurement is just in order to check if the antenna is good or not. This measurement is based on uh, the free space uh, loss equation made by Fris. So to do this demonstration, uh, we are going to use a radio frequency generator tuned to 2.4 GHz because those antennas we are going to measure are working on 2.4 GHz. They are very popular for Wi-Fi routers. They are named um, uh, sleeve antennas. They are in fact uh, dipoles. Okay, so we know that the dipole should have around 2 dBi of gain. So that's what we are going to check. So I'm using this RF generator with a power of 0 dBm. And as a receiver, I will use this spectrum analyzer. Tune it also to 2.4, obviously. Uh, these cables, they have some attenuation at 2.4 uh, GHz. That's the cables I'm going to use to connect here the generator to the transmitting antenna and the other cable to connect the receiving antenna to the spectrum analyzer. We can uh, easily measure this, uh, the losses in the cable by two methods. The first one is using a calibrated generator as this one and you measure the received power here by, by the spectrum analyzer and so I have previously done the measurement with an injected power of 0 dBm I get at the output of the coaxial cable minus 0 0.9 dBm so meaning that the, um, the, the attenuation is around 0 0.9 dB so the measurement is uh, easily done by measuring the distance and looking at the received power Uh, to do that, I'm going to use a ruler, simply a ruler, and uh, so I will use the freeze equation in dBs. This equation is valid uh, when you are in uh, so in free space and also when you are in uh, far field. So we can assume that the far field is already starting at a distance of one wavelength, approximately. Okay. So one wavelength at 2.4 GHz is 12 cm. So the first measurement is done at 12 cm, then we can double the distance and we can measure at 24 cm. One special characteristic of uh, free space propagation is the decrease uh, of 6 dB every time you double the distance. So you get a decrease of 6 dB on the received power. So that's a good check to see if your measurements are correct or not. Obviously, since we are here in the lab room, it's quite complicated to say that we are in free space uh, because we have a, a lot of. Uh, we are in an indoor environment, with, and so we we probably get some reflections somewhere. Okay, so I, I'm going to show you how I have done these measurements. So you take the ruler. You can take this paper ruler because it will not influence the much more the, the antenna. So one drawback also is that you have to be close of the antenna. Uh, you could use another support to make the measurement if you have. I don't have, so that's why I'm going to, to. But already like that, it works quite well. So first, we do a measurement at 12 centimeters. So I have measured uh, minus 23.2 dBms of received power on the spectrum analyzer. Now, we double the distance to 24 centimeters and I measured minus 29.5 dBms. So now I'm at 24 centimeters and I'm going again to double the distance, so 48 centimeters. And you can see a decrease on the spectrum analyzer and we are now at minus 36 dBms. So, let's have a look at the measurements and at the global equations. 
So if you, we assume free space, we can say that the attenuation in free space is minus 27.55 plus 20 log base 10 the distance in meters plus 20 log base 10 of the frequency in megahertz. The budget link will be the received power, so PRX, that is equal to PTX, the transmitted power, minus the losses in the cable. So we have measured the losses in the cable as being 0 0.9 dBs. So then you will have the gain of the antenna, okay, GTX, minus the attenuation that you get between the two antennas, that is due to the, to the propagation channel then plus the gain of uh, the receiving antenna minus the losses on the cable. So the measurements are here, as you can see, that's the measurements I have done. And from this budget link, you can write that the received power is so the transmitted power, 0 dBm, minus the losses you have uh, in uh, the first cable plus uh, the gain of uh, the GTX transmitting antenna so minus the attenuation so plus 27.55 minus 77.6 minus 20 T log base 10 the distance plus the gain of uh, the receiving antenna and 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 I forgot something that's the losses on the receiving cable so minus 0 0.9 so sorry about that so uh, here for the received power uh, it will be so we have to, to compute uh, all of this and uh, here it will be minus 41 dot 85 minus 20 log base 10 in meters so that should be uh, the equation of the received power okay So uh, now, from the measurements, we are going uh, to um, find the linear regression that matches the, uh, all these points. So we are going to get an equation. So we can get this from uh, MATLAB. Okay, so we. Sorry, it's not tuning quite well. So from MATLAB and doing a polynomial fitting, we get this equation, okay? As you can see, we got here minus 21, that is quite close to the theoretical one, that is minus 20. So we can say that we are in free space. So now if we make the difference uh, between uh, these uh, two uh, equations, uh, you can see that here it's wrong. Uh, we get uh, we get uh, less than one. Uh, so it's it is plus one. So it's zero eighty five dBs, and so we have to divide by two. And dividing by two makes because we have the two antennas that we supposed to have the same gain, so it's 0 0.35 dBi. Okay, so the gain of one antenna should have this value. It's a rough estimation, okay. So, but it's quite good and shows that the antenna is working uh, more or less perfectly. Okay, so that's all for the measurement.